This splint assists with the maintenance of a functional or protective hand position by supporting the arches of the hand as well as preventing deformity. This splint is indicated when the patient has decreased range of motion for contracture prevention or as a post-operative positioning device to immobilize in a neutral position. Applying the resting hand splint. An elastic bandage or a gauze roll can be used to secure this splint into place. Place the patient's hand into the splint and gently seat the wrist flush into the splint. Beginning at the wrist, wrap the elastic bandage twice around the wrist to prevent migration of the wrist. Then, continue wrapping the elastic bandage up to the wrist and cover the end of the splint. Wrap the elastic bandage back down to the hand and around the palm and fingers. Wrap the thumb separately into the thumb groove. Wrapping the thumb separately from the fingers provides better control of the splint position and prevention of splint migration. Secure the elastic wrap with tape or clips. The Digit Flexion Splint This splint positions the digits into flexion and provides optimal stretch to dorsal hand burns. The Digit Flexion Splint is used when composite digit flexion is difficult to attain or as a post-operative positioning device. To apply the digit flexion splint, place the splint onto the patient's hand and wrist. While holding the wrist into the splint, assist the patient's digits around the palm roll of the splint and into full flexion. Position the thumb into the thumb trough. Beginning at the wrist, secure the splint with the elastic bandage to prevent migration of the splint. Wrap the elastic bandage to the wrist covering the end of the splint. Next, wrap the elastic bandage down to the hand. The thumb should be wrapped separately into the thumb trough. Use some extra gauze pads for padding the knuckles over the MCPs and the hand dorsum, as well as the MCPs and the IPs. Using the elastic bandage, Wrap over the dorsum of the hand and the fingers, pushing the fingers into flexion. Then, wrap the elastic bandage around the wrist and over the rest of the fingers. Continue wrapping the elastic bandage around the wrist to finish. Secure the elastic bandage with tape or clips. Pan extension splints are used for post-operative immobilization of the skin graft to the palm or the volar surface of the digits or wrist. It may also be used for contracture prevention and management of the palm and digits. This type of splint is most commonly applied to young pediatric patients. The wrist and digits are positioned in moderate extension to place the skin on stretch. To apply the pan extension splint, line up the thumb and wrist into the splint and hold the wrist securely. Once you have ensured that the wrist is well seated into the splint, wrap the elastic bandage twice around the wrist. Next, wrap the elastic bandage up the forearm and over the proximal end of the splint. This will help minimize splint migration and keep the splint positioned correctly. Once the wrist and forearm are secure, wrap the elastic bandage back toward the hand and secure the thumb by wrapping the elastic bandage into the web space and pulling slightly back toward the wrist. Make sure that the fingers are not curled under and are properly aligned before wrapping. Finish applying the elastic bandage and secure with clips or tape.